Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Hey, sis, I got a question for you. You see what that scripture just said? It says, if we keep God's laws, we would be considered wise and understanding, right? That's so keeping right. God, some of God's laws is what? Thou shalt not kill. Mm -hmm. Don't steal from each other. Don't prostitute your daughter. Don't sell drugs and so forth, because that's hatred, right? Now, is that going on in our neighborhoods? Do we kill each other every night? You live around here, sis? Do you hear gunshots at night? So what are we doing to each other here? Killing each other. Killing each other. There's prostitution out here. Right. There's murders out here. Right. There's drug dealing out here. Right. There's hatred out here. Am I right or am I wrong, sis? But watch this. Read it again. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 6. Now, when I read this to you, I want you to pay attention. So don't look around. You got time, sis. You, where you got to go today? You got, you got all day to be with the Israelites learning the Bible. Right. 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 We're going to learn today how to get out of our conditions. Right. And what's the result of us not following God's laws, right? Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 6. Keep therefore and do them. Do God's law. This is the commandment that God gave to Moses to give to who? Our forefathers, who were the children of Israel. We're not Hamites. We're not Hamitic or so-called African. We are God's chosen people. People, the That's children right. of Israel. Because guess what? Do, the, do, the, do uh, Africans live like us? Do they know their nationality, their heritage? Yes, the hell they do. Right? But who does not know? We don't know. Right. That's why we kill each other, sell drugs to each other, and so forth. You understand? And hate each other. Right. You understand? Read it again. Keep thou far and do them. Keep God's laws. For this is your wisdom. God said, that's your wisdom. Right. Not in, not in a so-called white man's college. Your wisdom is in keeping God's laws. That's right. That's, right. that's your wisdom right there. Read. And your understanding. That's also your understanding. Guess what? You just said, I'm going to bring it back to voting now. You said, oh, I'm going to vote for Biden. You didn't really have an understanding or a... a, a, a was a reason why, right? But that's how all our people think right there. Oh, uh, we're Democrats, so we're just gonna vote for I Biden. Walk through my house and pray to God. Say it again. I walk through my house and pray to God. But listen to what I'm saying. The normal mindset in America is, all right, let's just go vote for Democrats. They, they, but look at this. Look behind me, sis. This is a, revo a result of voting and not believing in the Lord. That's right. You understand? We in the hoods of America just like this. In Alabama, in Georgia, South Carolina, all over the country living just like this. In the same neighborhoods in every state just like this. Read on. And in the sight of the nations. This is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, right? So let me ask you a question now. Is anything you heard that we say right now sound like we hate you or hatred? Uh -uh. Now, you said no, but wait a minute. The United States of America has deemed us, you see these brothers in purple? They deem us a hate group. Right. Why do they deem us a hate group? You don't know? This is the proof. Them calling us a hate group is the proof they don't want us to wake you up. Once, they, once we wake you up and our people up and our people in the projects up, their kingdom is over. That's why they deem us a hate group. Remember, you're a little, you may be a little older than I am. You remember back in the 60s, what did they call the NOI? For trying to wake up black people. The way they tried to wake up. What did they call Elijah Muhammad and them? A hate group, sister. They doing the same thing to us today. They call them black Muslims. They call us black Hebrew Israelites. It's the same thing. You understand? Read it again. In the sight of the nations. Come on. 
Keep therefore and do them. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom. God said, that's your wisdom. Guess what? If I talk to this brother right here, the police officer right here, you know why cops have a job in this neighborhood? Why do you think cops have a job in this neighborhood? Because of what? They terrible. They terrible out here, meaning what? What are we doing out here? Say it. Killing, killing. And what else? Said and done. And that's why this brother has a job right here. Right. Because we are wicked what? as hell. Right. You understand? Right. We, sell we sell drugs, drugs to, each to each other. Each other. We, we murder, murder each, each other. other. We do prostitution out here. Yeah. Guess what? We won't do that to no other nation but each other. That's right. You understand that? That's how weak we are. You understand? We only attack each other. You don't see a problem with that? That's a problem, sis. Yes, it is. Keep reading. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear all these statutes and say, Now, it said, once we keep God's laws, the other nations are going to see us keeping God's laws and they're going to say what? Surely, surely, this great nation, this great nation, we are the children of Israel. You understand that, brother? Brother man. Uh, we, we are, are the, the children, children of God. God. We yeah, are the Israelites. Right. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Truly, this great nation is a wise and understanding people. See that, sis? Once we wake up to God's laws, their kingdom is over. That's right. You understand? No longer are we going to be consumers like that. No longer are we going to be keeping America's economy afloat. Because guess what? Without us, economy, the economy drops. We're only consumers. Every other nation that's here, they're about their business. That's why the Chinese man can own stores in your neighborhood, and the, the Arab man can own stores in your neighborhood, and the so-called white people own stores in your neighborhood. But what do we own in our own neighborhoods, sis? Maybe a soul food shack. Maybe. That's right. You understand? Read. For what nation is there so great? What nation is so great? Who have God so nigh unto them? Guess who we got God? Guess what nation has God near unto them? What nation? Us, sis. We have God's, we have God near to, you understand that sister across the street? We have God near to us, sis. You understand? Read. As the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for. See that? Uh, we got to call upon God. Meaning what? Repent. That's right. We have to repent from the evil that we're doing. Hosea 4 and 1. Because there's a lot of evil in these projects right here. And we got to stop the evil we're doing or us what? We'll never get out of the situation we're in. That's right. Guaranteed the brothers and sisters that live in these projects, some of them are second generation, right. third generation, right. or fourth generation, all right. in these same projects. Right. Why? Because somebody has to man up and refuse to go about the same way we've been doing things. That's right. We've been doing one thing, the same thing over and over and over and over. And we think voting is the solution. No, voting is not the solution. Coming together with your brothers and your sisters and solving a problem, that's the solution. That's right. Repentance, that's the solution. Right. Come on, read. Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. If you didn't know in Alabama, what, what's the name of these projects right here? South Town. South Town. If you, if you didn't know South Town, you are the children of God. You are the children of Israel. And we're here to wake you up. Get, get, out, get out the house and come deal with the Israelites. Come see. Come hear what the Bible got to say. That's right. Turn off the football game. Right. You've been doing the football game forever. Right. And they don't love you. Right. Right. Matter of fact, all the colleges, they're all, they're all Republican anyway. That's right. You, they, 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 they they vote for your for your demise, man. Right. For your oppression. They are happy with your oppression. That's right. From the NFL to the college NCAA. Right. All of them. Bring it out. You are in the same position they want you in. Right. At the bottom. That's right. right. Read. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. You hear what God said, brother? God has a problem with us. You understand that, brother? That's why we're in the ghettos of America. Right. That's why we're shooting each other. Right. That's why we're killing each other. Right. And creating baby mamas and baby daddies. Eat. We refuse God's laws, brother. Come, come on across the street, come deal with us. Come ask questions, man. Come back, come on. Because there, because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of God in the land. Sisters, sister, I want you 
want you to hear that part. Did you hear what God said? God said he got a problem with the children of Israel. Why? Because there is no truth. There is no truth. No mercy. No what? No mercy. No what? No mercy. Hey, brother, cross the street. Do black people show mercy to each other? Yes. Hell no. We, we quick to pull out that gun. We quick to harm another black man. We quick to do that thing. That's why the officer has a job in your neighborhood. That's why they got to patrol your neighborhood. Right. A lot of y'all talking that Black Lives Matter. Oh, defund the police, defund the police. What you going to do when they defund the police? You pray to each other. Galatians 3.13. You pray to each other. 5.15, I mean. Watch this. All we know how to do without God's laws is be crabs in a barrel. That's it. All you know how to do is destroy yourselves when you ain't got God's laws. That's it. Come on. Galatians chapter 5 verse 15. But if ye bite and devour one another. Ain't that what we've been doing in the hoods of America? Biting each other, devouring each other, crabs in a barrel. Run. That's all we, and then you know what our solution is? Oh, let's go vote. Oh, let's just, let me just go vote for the next white man. So, so maybe you treat me right. Maybe I get some civil rights. Listen, we vote for civil rights. We only want the white man to be civil with us. Wow. We don't even want human rights. We just want to be treated a little better than we've been treated. That's the, the mind of a slave right there, man. What the, brother, come, I got to talk to you, man. I got a question for you. Can you come across the street? I want to I wanna ask you a question about voting. Come on, come on, brother. Don't be scared. I'm your brother. We all brothers out here. Huh? All right. Joe Biden, what is his track record with black people? I, I can't hear you. Not very good. What has he done for black people to vote for him? I can't hear you. That's right. Hey, come on, brother. Come on down. We need all of y'all open up your doors and come talk. Give me Isaiah 1 and 18, quick. Isaiah 1 and 18. I want that quick. Come on. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. Come and let us reason together. You see what the Bible says? We got to discuss our own problems among each other. You understand? Not depend on Joe Biden. Not depend on Donald Trump. Not depend on Kamala Harris. She was a slave master too. She's East Indian. She ain't our people. You understand? Not depend on Obama. We got to figure this thing out ourselves. You understand? So my question was, what is Joe Biden's track record with black people? Why we should vote for him? I don't know his track record that great, but I know that Democratic Party don't care about us either. Come say, I want you to come say that on a mic, brother. Because black people don't listen to us. We just dumb Negroes on a block with a microphone. They think we stupid, we ain't got no jobs. We just idiots reading the Bible. I want you to come say that on a mic, man. They don't listen to me either. Huh? They don't listen to me either. Hey, listen. The brother, say it again. Democratic Party never did care damn us. He said the Democratic Party ain't done a damn thing for black people. Am I right? Never have. Now, what is the results of black people voting Democratic all these years? The same thing, the same reason why black people out here supporting Black Lives Matter don't know where the money really going to. No, listen party. to my question. What is the results of black people's conditions voting Democratic for all these years? Do you got nothing? Just look behind me. I mean, Just look behind me. We still in the ghettos of America. Well, I'll be damned. We still in the hoods, killing each other. And guess what? Here's another question. Did our oppression start with Donald Trump? No. Nope. No? So under, under President Obama, were the same things still going on? Oh, yeah, he didn't do nothing either. Thank you, brother. And I was supposed And guess what? Brother. Not one of these presidents is going to do a damn thing for us. That's not not they one. They Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Watch this, brother. I want I want you to show I want to show you something right now. Watch this. Cuz we keep depending on different men to save us. We depended on Obama. We depended on Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton lied to more black people than anybody. Right. And guess who with that 1994 crime bill, am I right? And with that crime bill, who wrote it? 
No, he didn't. Somebody wrote it. Oh, okay. You, you, you want to hear that? Joe Biden wrote Read that it. out. Joe Biden wrote it. And guess who enforced it when they were attorney general in California? And was locking up black people Paris. all over California. Paris. Kamala Harris. Yeah. With the same crop. Well, I'll be damned. And look at black people now. Oh, you 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 want you want, you mean you mean to tell me you want four more years of Trump? You wanna do that? We gotta get Trump out. So the hell what? We were oppressed under Trump, we were oppressed under Obama, we're gonna be oppressed under the next president too. Until when? When are we not gonna when are we not gonna be oppressed? To the to the great one come back. Four hundred okay, years. So the great one, me, Christ, right? Two hundred twenty-eight. Tell you all about why how do we stop being world. oppressed? We gotta stop killing each other, come and, and become. Brothers. Meaning what? So Meaning what? Turn from our wicked ways. Uh, my man, that's, that's right, right, brother. We gotta. It's called repentance. We, we gotta repent, we brother. Ain't finna, we ain't finna do that. We ain't but guess what? Then guess what? We gonna die. That's that's right. Right. We gonna die right here. We gonna continue dying until we repent. We used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed But at the end of the day Nothing's in vain IUIC Has been given a vision The tents of Judah has risen Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes Gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.